What's going on guys, KDG here, back with another video on the city of Final Fantasy Opera. Yes guys, I know I said I was gone for a hot minute. Yes guys, I was away for a hot minute, I know. Uh, let's just say, because I don't want to use the same excuse, but it is the same excuse at the very end of the day. Work got in the way, and me also taking a vacation. I needed a kind of break from social media just because things were getting a little crazy. Currently, you guys know what's going on in the states right now with the whole election thing going on. Seeing that on, on social media, and talking about it at work, and just, oh man, it was just, it was a lot to handle. So I decided to take a break, a mental break for my mental health for that. So if you guys have not done that before, I recommend it. It actually really is liberating. You actually kind of feel back to normal. At least I feel back to normal. To where I can actually start making videos and I actually feel, you know, the stigma that comes along with it. One and two, I just kind of make it the way I want to make it. Like how I've always done, right? Um, but just anyway, just know that, uh, you know, take a break every now and then. Disconnect. Get your life right, right? Um, if you need to take a break, guys, it's always there for you. Anyway, what I hear for that. We're here for the Dimensions in. And we do have Dash, we do have Nine, and we do have Vivi. Yes, we're bringing Vivi. As you guys can see, he's maxed out on his weapon, but not his, not his armor. And yeah, that happens. Things happen, guys. Um, <laughs> I didn't have enough. I mean, I have enough now, but you know, I want to see if he, if he can actually do it without it. Let's go get into it. All right, so we do know this has five waves five freaking waves all right so we brought dash here just because of the ancient thunderclap plus the electric floor um, nine because of the shield also because he can reduce the amount of damage to zero if you take hp damage and we bought vv for the extra 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 can't stress it enough the extra aoe damage that he brings to the table his meteor his twice plus his uh, double fire. I love that. I love double fire. By the way. But I'm not gonna talk too much. Let you guys watch and uh, maybe some commentary here and there. But uh, yeah, enjoy. Hope you guys enjoy. So just quick, uh, this is going to be a 100 turn battle. So take care of the enemies, there's five waves, so take care of the enemies as fast as you can without pretty much spending yourself, right? That's the biggest thing. And that's why we brought nine, just because he's like the, you know, Walmart version of War Warrior of Light. Okay, I'm just kidding. But still, he does a lot. Of Tons of damage, by the way, with his uh, EX. Plus the fact that he has an LD that can reduce damage to zero. You can't really beat that. But like I said earlier, we're gonna keep it going, guys. And we're out of there. Cool. Works for me. Moving on to wave two. Now, 
Now, just to be transparent, these guys uh, were, they act like the same time, or well, they act exactly like they do. I right, just be uh, coherent. These guys act exactly like they do in the freaking uh, Ash Lost Chapter or Hero Event. Essentially, if you play that around that time, um, they can do the phaser. They can break you if they get lucky. Um, but at the same time, you want to just take them out, like you would do any enemy, right? Um, just be careful. They don't really do a lot of HP attacks, which surprisingly, surprisingly, they do a lot of HP attacks from what I've seen um, in comparison to the event from the first time when when it came around. But you still want to be on guard. You never know. So we're gonna to try to take these guys out as much as possible, and they don't really have that much HP. In comparison to their uh, Ash banner when it came out, but we'll see. These guys are pretty much done. A has a lot of life left. We can go ahead and pretty much in him for the most part. I know we're attacking B, but still. A has the most, so we gotta attack him for the most part. Yeah, we're still good on the shield, so we're good. And we're going to save the EX, by the way, for the next wave. Alright, good. Alright, so the next wave is going to be a trash mob wave, but they have a lot of HP. A ton of HP in comparison. So, obviously... If you got your EX is ready to go, use it right here. Just kind of make waste of this actual fight right here. Um, focus on B, just because he does. It seems like he does the most HP attacks in comparison to the other Kumas that are currently on the left and right. But that's just, that's just me how I decided to do it.
Wait, B's gone. Now it's A and C. And they're in the red, so that's good. Alright, we'll get blue in wave four. Alright, these guys, just like the turtles, um, they act almost the exact same way. They'll get in their shell after a couple turns and uh, be harder to break essentially, right? So concentrate on one or two, or kind of keep them at the same HP. It depends on how you want to play um, to take these guys out. Alright, good. Alright, so now the last wave here. It's gonna be the it's gonna be the demon wall, right? So just like it was when Galoof and uh Leo came out, same thing applies, right? However, we're not gonna give this guy that much time to get that stuff off. So, let's go ahead and do the world of lance. And besides, he doesn't really have much HP. I noticed that. And, um, yeah, just take it to him. Why not? With the eggs ready to go, let's get it. So, it's a great time to summon. So, um, once you get about maybe a quarter to the way, you can probably take him out in the summon if you have a party that's built for it. This party is not really built for it as much. It's mostly built for AoE. That's why I brought this party. Here we go. Let's get it. 
but uh, I'll let you guys see how I do it from here on out. And that's pretty much it. So that's uh, Dimensions in number 16 in the bag. We brought Vivi, we brought our boy Nine, and we brought Dash. <laughs> I couldn't think of his name for a second. I was stalling. <laughs> anyway, um, that's pretty much it right there, guys. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. I've been KDG. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day. Thanks again for watching. Remember to always walk tall, my friends. And I'll see you guys in my next video. But before I go, so I do have some more videos coming out, guys. Just kind of give you guys a heads up. So be mindful with that. I've been working on some things. I'm also doing a particular type of video that I want to make sure I share with you guys. So uh, it's coming coming down the line. It d involves dimensions, and I will say that. But anyway, that's on the line. I'll see you guys in my next video, guys. Bye.